How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved here in Minecraft. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you guys have, make sure you guys hit that like button. This really does help out the, uh, help out the channel and the series. In the last episode, we went ahead and we did a few things in the magic department. Also did see also did see the note on um, looking into the wire wireless power of some kind definitely gonna happen um we'll probably do that once we start switching back to kind of more of the tech things but for now we'll just use our uh, flux duct anyway in the last episode we went ahead and we made ourselves a wand a wandy wand and then in between episodes i went ahead and made ourselves a arcane workbench which is just a table made from uh, great wood planks, which, oh, by the way, in order to get these, there were a few different methods we could use, one of which being Botania, and I was like, ah, you know, we haven't gotten into it yet, but instead, we could just make a sawmill, throw in the great wood logs, and we get some great wood planks out, and along with some sawdust. However, I was looking into it, and we are going to actually need to get into Botania, unfortunately, but that's fine. The, the, the mods are going to go hand in hand for pretty much the most part. And the reason I say we're going to have to get into it is because if we want to make a research table, which is going to allow us to unlock more things, we need scribing tools. But to make scribing tools, we need to make mana glass, which the only way to make that is through a mana pool. And in order to get some of these other things, the goggles are revealing and some very fundamental things for Domcraft, we need to go ahead and do Botania. So before we can unfortunately get into this, we need to look at our Lux Botania. So some of the basics we're going to need is we need a Petal Apothecary in order to make some of the materials we need. Um, so in order to make this, we just need some cobblestone, we need some sort of petal, a cauldron, and some cobblestone. So I went ahead and gathered that up, and I put that in a crafting table over here. Also, quick side note, if you guys can hear a... Um, weird sound in the background that is a printer that is printing 3d things 3d printer um about two feet away from me i have tr attempted to uh make it quieter but we'll see uh kind of see how well that works but uh i will definitely try to make sure that it is not going in the next recording session, but unfortunately it was just unavoidable the way things worked out today. Um, so definitely sorry about that in advance. But anyway, back to the whole Petal Apothecary. So basically it's this little stone base and we can put it just about anywhere for now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll stick it in the corner. So, a Petal Apothecary, so if we look here, I go here. So basically in order to make certain things, we can make few different petal, petal apothecaries, but mainly we need to fill it with water. I don't know if that recipe would actually work, but we made this recipe. Anyway, so we need to grab ourselves some sources of water. I don't have any buckets on me. I think there might be some over here. Now let's grab two. Let's head outside. Maybe we'll put our that book there. Boop, boop. And uh, hi, creeper. I saw you. All right, I will head back down here. So let's grab our water. Hole like this, go like that, and then go like that, then go like this. Bam. Cool. So now, oh, I don't need that. And throw some things in here. Oh no, it looks like we're probably gonna have to go through and fix some things. And the ender chest things are probably getting full because our overflow chest I'm betting is full. 
Alright, so now that we have... But we'll take a look at that later. So now that we have the Petal Apothecary, we can make a pure daisy, which is what allows us to make things called living wood and living rock. And basically we need four mystical white petals. So let's go see if we have any. If we don't, we're going to have to go collect petals, and then we'll look into making that. There's actually a bag we can make, which will significantly help with just some storage. I don't think we have any of those petals. Because I think if we did, we'd see flowers. Okay. So we don't have any of these. So if we look at... what we need to make one, we can get it through mystical white flower, or the tall mystical white flower, and basically the tall one gives us twice as much. Um, does it tell us? No, it doesn't tell us the height. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we are going to have to go, and let's see. Is there a backpack? There might not be. Or the petals. Ah. These are from Railcraft. They might work with it. Oh well. I, I won't worry about making the bag. Alright, so I'm going to need to go grab some flowers. So I'm going to go off and hunt for a bunch. Because I know we're going to need pretty much all the different types. So I'm going to go do that. And then I will be right back. Because it's probably going to take me... Well, it's going to take me a good probably hour or so going around collecting them because there's a lot and we pretty much have none. I have some black and some green. I guess let's throw this just so we know kind of what we have. And then we'll go go through from that. Alright, so I'm going to go hunt for some more flowers and I'll be right back. See you guys here in a sec. Okay, and we're back, so I went ahead and went out and kind of gathered up a bunch of flower types. These are all the ones I could find. Um, I think we're missing a few. I think we're missing dark gray, light blue. We have blue and we have cyan, but I believe there is a third, third blue. Um, I think that's all of them. Oh, no, we do have a gray, okay. We have lime, we have green... Okay, we probably have most of them. Um, so we should be able to do pretty much everything. We are going to need more. So I'll definitely have to make more runs, but there are ways we can gather them instead of just going out of our way. But for now, we're going to need some before we can make our own. So in order to do that recipe, we need four petals. So all we do is we go boop, 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 boop. Now if we look in here... We can see that, yep, the recipe's good, and then these little sparks come off, and we need to throw one seed in there, which I don't have. So let's go up top and grab one. Let's see, all our seeds should be in here, right? Um, yes. I'm actually just going to grab all of them, because we're going to need them to make more flowers anyway. So the big thing with Botania is it's basically the flower mod. And so, we'll just go boop, and now we have ourselves a pure daisy. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more, just so that way we have another one for... So I want one for living rock and one for uh, living wood. One, two, three, four. And there you go. Alright, so... So these need to be placed on dirt. Let's see, do I have any dirt? I have one dirt in there. I have no dirt anywhere, apparently. Well, there we go. Now we have dirt. So, hmm. <laughs> I think for... I think for all intents and purposes... We'll just do something like this. Let's go ahead and grab just a wee bit more dirt. Okay, I 
need to... I wonder if magnets are in this. Like the magnet belt. I think there is something from like Bombcraft for that. Alright, so now if I place a flower here, and a flower here, and then if I go ahead and grab some limestone, and then grab some oak planks, so if I, or oak logs, so if I put the logs like this, so see the... See these little sparks that basically lets us know? Okay, so it's slowly going to change these over to living wood. And if we place... Nope, limestone doesn't work. Okay. Let's see, does raw cobble work? Nope. Okay, so then I have to actually put the stone down. Damn, I was hoping to get lucky. What about marble? I think there was a mod pack I played where some of these items could be. Nope. Okay, so then it's got to be actual stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some of that. Let's clear up our inventory just a bit. Uh, boop, boop. Let's grab two stacks of cobble so we, we can get the smelting. Grab that rubber. Set it off. Cool. Alright, so now... Okay, let's grab one stone just so that I can make sure that the stone's actually working and we don't have to do something else. Cool, and... Yes, it is. Okay. So now if we go ahead and grab a little axe here. Now we're able to have living wood, and so then if we go like that, we can get living wood planks, just like standard wood. And then notice... We can make other living wood. So if we want to make... Uh, where is the... Lux Botania. Back. Pure Daisy. Alright, so two living wood together. Not the living wood planks. Uh, crap. Um... Does rubber wood work? No. Of course it doesn't. I mean, on one hand, I kind of figured it wouldn't work, but on the other, I was hoping it would work. Now let's go through this in there, then. Uh, here's some oak. Do we have any other wood? I mean, we do have a really good axe now. We could just go chop down a bunch of trees. Also, side note, I do need to go make more fertilizer for the tree farm. If somebody could be very kind and remind me in the comments to do that, because I'm going to forget to put that in my notes to do it. That'd be greatly appreciated. And, okay, so, yep, so we have one living rock, so let's go ahead and throw that there. Throw the marble in there. And then go grab ourselves up some more of that stone so we can put it there and make more living rock. Living wood and living rock are both two major components of Botania that we're, we're going to need and we're going to use quite a lot of. Um, at least for now. Eventually, we'll kind of shift away from it and get into some other materials we're going to need a lot of. Mainly the flowers and some other kind of more advanced things. Right, so while we wait for that to change, let's take a look at our Botania book. So if we go back, so now we have the pure daisy, right? So now we can kind of make some of these things. So, well, we want to make things such as like a runic altar, but hey, that's going to require mana pearls and mana diamonds. But how do we get those things? Well, we get those things by making a mana pool. And so making a mana pool is simple, just five living rock. There's actually two different types of mana pools. So there's what is called a diluted mana pool, which is effectively kind of like a cup, right? So it's a tiny little thing. It can hold some mana, but not a lot. And then there's other things called... Awesome, now we have a twig, which is going to basically be our wand for Botania. So we have a wand for Thaumcraft, and we're going to have a wand for Botania. Anyway, so a little cup for mana and then a regular mana pool is more of like a bucket or maybe like a big pool quite literally as the name suggests to the point where you're going to store a lot of mana which is useful 
at least until you start to get into the late late stages of uh, Britannia, because then these little pools, which at first seem like they hold a near infinite amount, are going to quickly turn out to be not even close to what you're going to need. But again, that's just my experience from previous uh, playthroughs of Britannia. I, d I don't know to what extent this pack has changed it at all, or kind of what version we're dealing with here. So that we have a mana pool, we can we can make some sort of mana generation. Um, again, we'll probably do most of my Botania stuff out here until until things get to the point where we can't keep them contained in this restricted space. We'll probably have to move them somewhere. We might move them to another dimension, depending on how big they are. Um, we might move them to like the mining dimension or something. Um, now I'm just going to put dirt all in here just so I can put flowers and not have to worry about anything. Okay. So if we put a mana pool, awesome. Well, now what do we do with it and how do we manipulate things, right? So that's what where a mana spreader comes in. So effectively, we need gold, some living wood, right? So take note. Living wood, not living wood planks, and some petals. So let's go chop us a tree down. Maybe if we uh, don't get hit by anything. Let's go chop some trees down. And get hit by a spider who's apparently the fastest person on earth. And drop. Awesome. So there's definitely a lot of um, kind of just going back and forth with these, these kind of little crafts, if you will. Something like that. Eventually we'll, we'll have like a bunch of this. And I think there is a way we can actually automate it. I'll have to look back at some of the builds I've done. And two of those are not even in the correct place. One. And give me this last bit. Awesome. I need quite a little bit of living wood. Living wood right now. So we're just going to change that over. Awesome. Alright. So, we're going to need to get a mana spreader. And... Couple other things put together. Yeah. And then there are more advanced ways of transferring mana, such as uh, sparks, which will basically let us move mana over not vast distances, but better distances than a mana spreader and basically quicker as well. And so then there's different flowers we can actually look at for mana generation. Oh, yes! They have the broken flowers! Sorry, I'm very excited now that I see these. Because the old, the mod pack that I played previously that had um, Botania in it did not have Day Blooms. And I think it's Night Blooms or, or, or something. But basically, these will generate mana just out in the sunlight. These things are very, very nice early game. Um, otherwise, I was going to say, what we're going to do is we're going to do an Ender Flame farm, which is still, I believe it is more efficient than the Day Blooms, however, they require, or Endo, Endo Flames require fuel, right? And it kind of tells you this, right? So, a botanist requires more effective means of generating mana, so although Day Blooms are great at, right, no input, you get free, free mana. However, you need a lot of Day Blooms for it to really be useful versus us using endo, endo flames, which will uh, require an input such as such as um, like charcoal, which we can pull from our charcoal farm, or just kind of any other fuel source we provide it, and it will generate us a lot more, right? And so it kind of goes into that, so some things like the open crate and whatever else is the open crate the thing I made? Or uh, item dropper. Okay, maybe maybe I wanted an open crate. I'll have to look into that. And then basically, so there's things like Ender Flames. Uh, there's all sorts of other 
um, ones as well that, that do kind of different things. So I think, I think we'll probably call it here today for kind of just this glimpse into our, our early Britannia. So now that we have our first little, uh, mana pool, we'll, we'll start to kind of build and expand our, our Britannia stuff. So I think in between episodes, thank you, Under Minute, actually, this... This works out very well for me. Free block. A free block of grass. I'm just going to use it to fill this whole area full of grass and bring the inside, or bring the outside in. So, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, you guys don't do, smash that like button. If you enjoyed things, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. And please, somebody remind me about uh, the fertilizer thing for the farm, because I'm going to forget. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe because it really does help with the channel and it really does show me that you guys are enjoying things. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.